Okay, we're going to do a commentary on this video. Why I quit modeling. This is Natalia Taylor. Natalia Taylor. Let's begin by watching the, the damn video. Oh, at age 19, that there are girls my age. Hold on. To know at age 19, that there are girls my age and even younger getting plastic surgery to sign on to these agencies. What's up, guys? It's your girl, N.T. here. And that Let me tell you something. I get cosmetic surgery. You damn right. There's just one thing. I, I haven't got the money. And I'm bitter about this. I hate myself. I hate how ugly I am. I hate uh, how I, plain and average. I refuse to wear the label of plain and average. I am either hot or not. And if I'm not hot, I'm thinking about killing myself sometimes. I'm just too afraid to do it. But look at my hair. Thin hair. There's cosmetic, there's surgery there. I rectify that. Look at my face. Not, maybe if I had the bangs, my face would look good and not like a sickly, bland, plain and average oval. If, they, if girls want to get cosmetic surgery to be hot, more power to them. I'm trying to make it as a rapper with my song so I can get cosmetic surgery to be a good looking guy. And if I can't, one day, I'm going to do something to get myself killed. That stands for Natalia Taylor. I've got younger getting plastic surgery to sign on to these agencies. What's up, guys? It's your girl. What's up? T here, and that stands for Natalia Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm so happy you're here today because I'm going to share with you why I quit modeling. And we talk a lot about modeling on this channel. I make a lot of videos about Victoria's Secret in particular because growing up, I wanted to be a Victoria's Secret angel. That was my dream. And I don't want to be a model. I just want to be good looking like a model. It never happened for me. So now I make videos talking crap about them. Um, but... You never became a model, Natalie Taylor. They need to get their ass checked. You look, you look better than all of those other models, Natalie Taylor. From what I saw, you look better than all those models. They look like a bunch of skinny, scrawny stick figures. But I never really shared with you guys why I quit. I have talked about like photo shoot horror stories, all of these things, but I realized where's the why I quit video? It doesn't exist. So that is why I'm here today. Now maybe you clicked on- I tell you Latin out of the Leah Taylor, you got perfect hair. The way your hair waves, it looks awesome. You got a perfect face. You got long arms. You don't, you don't need to be, you do not need to be any thinner. In fact, you could put on 10 to 15 pounds and still look good. Oh, I'm not hitting on you. I got a girlfriend. I love her. Her name is Courtney Joy. I just, this is, this video is made, made from a strictly observational, pre observational viewpoint. I had a stroke. That's why my speech sounds like I'm, I'm retarded and I'm trying to get views. Maybe this video will be clickbait to get get me some fucking views. Clicked on this video because you are a model, or if you're thinking about getting into modeling and you just genuinely want to know what you're getting yourself into, this is the video for you. And I actually devised a list of the main reasons I decided to quit my modeling career. So before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Pocket Styler. Pocket Styler is a mobile fashion and dress up game that just came out this year. And if you guys are like me and you're super into fashion, you're going to love this game. Pocket Styler is all We're not about hear dressing this up commercial. your hair look, accessories, hairdos, the game, and other players your influence. I absolutely love this game, you guys on the game they'll give, bring so much they like putting books in the closet in real event i like <laughs> thank you so much to, no. to download the game for free and get to she's got long arms i wish my 
I would get cosmetic surgery just to have long forms and long arms and you Natalia Leah Taylor. And cosmetic surgery to get my hair back and cosmetic surgery to be look as good as, as a model. I don't want to live a model's life. I'm happy with my life. I just want to be good looking like a model. And if I can't be good looking like a model, I want to die. To styling. <laughs> thank you so much to Pocket Styler for partnering with us on this video. And thank you to all of you guys that support the sponsors so we can keep making videos like this on my channel. Because we never go out of style. <laughs> Reason number one I decided to quit modeling was because I didn't fit the standards. Now you may or may not know that the modeling industry is very strict on what their standards are depending on which division of modeling you are going into specifically. You did not fit that standards Natalia Leah Taylor? <laughs> Look at all these stick figures. I'm not impressed with a damn one of these other models. Natalia Taylor, he looked head over heels better than every damn one of them. And you didn't make the cut? What the fuck do they want? Do they want, do, do they want just to take a bunch of sticks, put them together, and turn them into a human being? Come on. These girls, these these stick figure models, I'm not impressed. Ugh. Natalia Taylor, you should have come up in the 80s. You'd have made a perfect model in the 80s and 90s when people had some sense. Now all the days people want to do is stick the dick in a hole. And that's why they don't appreciate true beauty. They just, they, they, they just, that men think with, uh, men don't think with their heads anymore. They think with the heads on the other end, the heads of the dicks. That's all. I was personally interested in runway modeling, you call, but there are so many different categories that I was really willing to try all of them. I mean, that, I not ugly, but. At a very young age. I believe I was 12 when I had my very first they're not, they don't make Some me, of my early modeling they, pictures they, are very cringy now that I look back on them, but. Those models may look nice, but they don't get me pumped up. They don't make me want to live, feel a zest for living because they, I don't know, they just don't, they just don't got it. They just don't got what you got, Natalia. Maybe I'm looking at personality too. I don't know, but your looks are head over heels better looking than every one of those damn models. And this is you as a girl. But uh, everyone has to start somewhere, and that's how it was for me. Oh, you were cute. Oh, you were cute. Me, my grandmother was a model, and I she's, looked up to her Oh, so she's much. cute too. And like a lot of you guys that are watching, probably if you're trying to get into modeling, and you look really good there. Telling you all the time that you should model. Like, if you are a taller, thinner body type, like, everyone tells you to get into modeling. And it was like. It's okay to be thin. It's not okay when you're so thin that the first thing that people notice is not how good your hair looks, not how good your face looks, not how good you look, but how thin you are. When, that, when, people, when the first thing people notice is how thin you are, you got a fucking problem. You're not good looking. Enough. Like weirdly programmed into me that that was something I was no. supposed to do just because people would always say that to me. I don't know. Comment below if that is your story too. But I was very. I love long arms on a girl, but she. You see. You see this girl right here. Her arms are long, but she's too thin. Her arms do. Her arms do not ravish me. Her arms do not. Fill me with a desire for mine to be longer than hers. Of course, that's my fetish, having long forms and those good-looking alpha females. This girl does not look like an alpha female. She looks like a walking stick. This girl right here, Natalia Taylor, you are a lot better looking than this girl. She looks good, but you know, Natalia Taylor, you look ten times better than this girl right here. Because people would always say that to me. 
to me. I don't know. Comment below if that is your story too, but I was very outgoing. I loved having my picture taken. I thought Ew. everything about it seemed like so much fun until I got a little bit older. I'm getting sick look, just looking at these stick this figures. This is when it kind of hit me that like, okay, this is a very competitive industry. I was 19 years old. I had just dropped out of college and I realized I couldn't be a professional. I I need to get thin. Now I I wouldn't mind. I'd rather look, I'd let, I'd rather look sickly thin as these models than big as I am not right now. Look how. Cause let me tell you something. Look how fat I am. I refuse to go on a diet. Because let's face it, if I cannot be sexy and thin. And trim and eat pig out at least twice a week. I don't want to live. I want to kill myself. Professional model as a career in Ohio, which is where I was born. Like it just doesn't happen that way. You don't have. And I just ain't no. I just not. I just not not good looking. I'm close to being good looking, but I guarantee you, just just right, a, a few cuts of the knife on this cosmetic surgery. I could be a good looking guy. I'm a numerous blots and imperfection. And if I can't get the cosmetic surgery one day soon, while I'm still young, I'm seriously thinking about killing myself. Look at my squinty eye like Pat Robertson. But that's because I hate what I see when I look at myself. That's why I'm sub I'm subconsciously squint because I hate looking at myself have as many opportunities to flourish you need to move to a major city like new york or la or chicago it's just the way it is so when that time came for me where my mother agency in cincinnati ohio sent me off to a big agency she's a model LA, that I woman realized, my... like this is a walk to that time came what? for me where my mother agency in cincinnati ohio that girl is a model she looks like she's she looks like an anorexic, sickly, scrawny little thing. I'm not impressed. If I saw her on the street, if I if I, if I was a, a 13 year old kid, seen just just getting in, uh, you know, growing 30, you know, had 13 year old kids, all in the girls. When I looked at, if I looked at this girl, it would not pump me up and get me feeling. I, uh, this girl, the way this girl looks here would not make me think to myself, I'm so happy to be, be alive with good looking people like this in this world. I think, I would think to myself, uh, okay, she's thin, but she's not good looking. If I was 13 years old and saw you for the first time, Leah Taylor, I'd say to myself, man. If girls look like this, I'm happy to be alive. I want to get. I want to do something. I, I start be. I'd start getting loud. Start talking as loud as I can could to my friends, subconsciously hoping you'd notice me. Ohio sent me off to big agencies in Miami and LA. I realized like this is a way different world. Than I mean, don't, they don't look bad. She does. She does not look Ohio bad, but she you know. I Even with her long arms. For a job or a gig, but it was always fun and it was always I'm not and no one ever really looked at you in a critical light, if that makes sense. But when I went to these big agencies in Miami and LA, it was actually the most judged I have ever felt in my entire life. And I have been judged and so And these much and these so are guys you don't understand. And those models are supposed to be the cream of the crop, the best looking people in the world. <clears throat> like I said, Natalia Taylor, you beat them all hands down. And I'm not hinting on you. I got a girlfriend already. I love my girlfriend more than I love you. But, you know. Hold on. Man, this fucking pisses me off. 
I love my. I, 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 I'm saying this so, I, so that my girlfriend would not get jealous. My girlfriend is very good looking. Okay, let me let me get back to this, man. If I don't get any views on this fucking video, I will think about killing myself. Understand? I was judged in high school. I was judged in college. I'm judged now. But what it feels like to walk into a room at an agency where they. If those girls would put on about 10, 20 pounds, they might be enthralling to look at. They they would be in they would be wow. These girls are hot. But as see skinny as they are and erects little scrawny little stick figures. They ask you to be in a full swimsuit, okay? Her? Into a she not her face is a desks like you're in an that what her face does not do it. Her face does not cut it. For, her face and hair just not does not cut up for me. Ew. He need to have every single person in this office look at your body and judge you based off of your appearance. Like, I wish people would judge me on my appearance and think I'm good looking. Go for it. Once you, once you get, I got the personality. Of course, you don't see it right now because I'm so bitter, bitter and angry. It's eating in my soul. I want people. I want people to like me for my looks. I want that superficial love. I got all the true love. I got enough of that to let, uh, make me happy. Yeah, I got a girlfriend who truly loved me. Ever since I was 13 years old, I wanted to be a good-looking guy. When I used to see girls that looked like you, Natalia Taylor, and better than you, and not as good as you, but they were top-notch girls. I thought they were impossibly good-looking, and I used to get loud, wishing they. I used to daydream about me doing something heroic, and they noticed me and look and noticed me. And ever since then, I want to be as good-looking to them as I they were to me. And if I'm not. If I cannot be good looking, if I had to be playing an average, I will fucking kill myself. Do you hear me? I will fucking kill myself. Eventually I get the guts and I will fucking kill myself. Oh my gosh, it was seriously the most nerve wracking thing that has ever appearance. Like, oh my gosh, it was seriously the most nerve wracking thing that I has ever happened. I love where a girl holds her arms up like this. That's very aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. I guess. Like, when a girl holds her arms up like this, that's very aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. Gosh, it was seriously the most nerve-wracking thing that has ever happened to me. Because you're basically just stuck, half-naked, standing there, sucking it. Yes, it. That's another thing. I don't want, I don't like my girls half-naked. Put some fucking clothes on, please. Shorts. A shirt. Roll the sleeves up. And I'm happy as I'm pleased as punch. I am not in. I am not into half naked girls. I like a little fucking clothes, just like a little like a little meat on them. I like a little clothes on them too. If uh, and if you people think I'm strange because of that, go suck a dick. I don't give. I don't give a fuck. I we are, I am who I am. If you don't like it, you sh suck off and fuck off and then stick a dick in your mouth. I'm angry. For everyone. And this is actually my number two on the list is the agencies. It really goes hand in hand with the first one, like not fitting the standards. When I went to these agencies, they told bitch. me as a woman that was conventionally thin and five foot ten, official trigger warning, they told me I was too fat. And... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Too fat. You need to you need to gain foot ten pounds, not Aaliyah. You you need to maybe gain ten pounds. Too fat? Maybe you're a little too skinny. But you wear it well, Natalia Taylor. As skinny as you are, maybe it's the way you wear your hair. Maybe it's your face. Maybe it's you look like a normal human being. 
but that sounded that sounded bad. Maybe look like a top notch girl who's a normal. He also looks like a human being I can identify with. I I I can, you know, this fucking stroke makes it impossible for me to communicate. Yeah. Now what do you say? I forgot what you said. Oh, five foot ten. Natalie, Natalie Taylor. You gotta do something for me, please. I beg you. You gotta do something. It's eating me alive. I'm gonna kill myself over this one day. Natalie Taylor, could you tell me, and is that to the exact one eighth of an inch, how long your elbow to wrists are? So I can know if mine are longer. I'm six feet tall. You're five foot ten. I, as a guy, should have long forms, and you dot God. And if I don't, if I can't get the cosmetic surgery, bone length and stretching surgery to get long forms, and you, I will kill myself. Especially, especially if I can't be a good looking guy. Warning. They told me I was too fat. <laughs> and I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now of what. What my body looked like during this time. Natalia, right there. You look exceptionally good looking. Your face, your hair, your long arms. Just put a little, a few more clothes on. And you had all them stick figure models. Barbie doll, Barbie doll shape, Barbie doll models. Lit, beat. None of them could hold a candle to you. Damn. Won't people get a fucking clue? Shit. Another reason I want to kill myself. This world is a shithole to live in. If only I was a good looking guy. If I looked as good as a guy. As you look. As good as you look. As a girl here. I'd be so. you would be truly, truly, truly happy. You just don't know. You just don't understand how I feel. And you can just see for yourself. No, you can this uh, is ever. The body I was working with, and they told Aww. me it wasn't good enough. Aww, you're cute there. Aww. You look cute. Yourselves. This is the body I was working with, and they told me it wasn't good enough. And I was told time and time... They're a bunch of fucking fools. They don't know what... They don't what... They're, they're a bunch of shit-ass fools. Who cares what they think? They're not... They're probably not even human beings. Again, by almost every single agency I went to, that my look, which is your face, is too commercial. And all of you guys watching this video that are models, you know what that means. That basically says, you're not Chanel. You're Target. Like, that's what they're trying to say. And I'm not saying... Right now, as plain and average ugly as I am, I'd be happy to be good-looking enough just to be on Target commercial. Hey, at least I'd be good-looking. Attractive. Above average. Not just another face in the crowd. I'm not saying beautiful people don't model for Target, but that's essentially what commercial means in the industry. It means that you're not pretty enough to do high-end couture, and we don't want Neither are those so girls. So that is what I heard in my over book. and over, time and time again. I was rejected for not fitting into the correct standards that were given to me. And this was a very big wake-up call for me that, oh, this isn't just about being tall, thin, and conventionally attractive. This is about way more. And what I'm about to tell you guys is really going to freak you out. So I started asking people, what do I do? Like, how do I make my look less commercial? How do I fit into what they're looking for? Because during this time, what the big supermodels were looking like was a very specific look. And yeah, I didn't fit into it. So no, it was, can I make... Okay. Just be yourself, Natalia Taylor. You're a lot better looking than all those than stick figure models. Models, right? From when they first started modeling. And 
and I was confronted with one of the ugliest truths I think I've ever had to face. And that was that most models, not all of them, but most of the top models in the industry have had some sort of plastic surgery. Hold on. Some sort of plastic surgery. Wow. If they can take her and make her look like that, there's hope for me yet. Maybe they can take the knife and make me and the guy like this. Hold on. Maybe they can make me look like this. Maybe they can make me look like this. Fuck. If they can take a girl like that. She's cute right here. She's got a nice face right here. If only she wasn't so damn thin. If they can take a girl like this and make her look like that. To be sure they can take it ugly ass face like mine and make it look like this surely they can make me look like that or this if I could look like that I'd be so happy you just don't know it surgery to change their appearance and when I discovered this and I saw these before and after photos of these big what? Wow, all I need is the money. All I need is the money. All I need is make it with my songs, make it in the music business. And if I can't do that that way, if I can't win the lottery, if I had to look like this for the rest of my life, I cut my life short and I kill myself. like oh their face is not natural and that is you know not to say that you can't decide to have plastic surgery like I oh by the way I don't want implants in my uh, cosmetic surgery if they had to restructure the bones I wanted to graft bone for my hips because I want to be I, I want cosmetic surgery that's real that uses my body that sculpts my body my body not using implants, not using fake uh, inanimate and inorganic material, but my bones, my bones, my skin, my whatever. Let me give me give me give me an example. A girl who wants bigger breasts. The fake way is to get silicones. That's fake because the silicones are not part of your body. But a realistic way to get the realistic way to get cosmetic surgery and bigger breasts and be real. They got this tube that's sticking to your breast, and your own fat grows around the tubes and dissolves the tubes. And what you got is your real breast. They're bigger breasts, but they're your real breasts. They're your real fat and tissue. That's the kind of cosmetic surgery I want done to my face to make my face look like this right here, right here, or something like, or something like. I'm not anti-plastic surgery. You guys know this, okay? But to know at age 19... Have you ever had plastic surgery? The way you say that, you guys know this. That sounds a little suspicious to me. That there are girls my age and even younger getting plastic surgery to... I'm dying to see what you'd look like with no makeup on, with no makeup. I'm dying to see what you'd look like. Girls my age and even younger. Get I bet you still look, I bet you would look good. I, I bet you still look good. You're a natural, natural beauty. Getting plastic surgery to oh my. sign on to these agencies and to fit into this standard that I didn't fit into. They didn't fit into that nobody fit into it had to be purchased and I wasn't ready to see that and I wasn't ready to 
hear that because if I wanted to now have my dream of being a Victoria's Secret angel or being a top model, I had to change my face. Change. And a Secret angel or being a top model. Well, now, now she looks good. She's got some long arms too. I'd give 10 years off of my life for my forearms to be longer than hers. Well, I had to change my face. Now she looks good. My face. Now she <laughs> looks good as you do. Now she looks as good as you do, Natalia. That good. Now this girl right here. Or being a top model. She looks as good as you. Well, maybe. Well, I had to change maybe. My yeah. Face. Yeah, I think she looks as good as you, Natalia. Yeah. Yeah, I think she looks as good as you. But not better than you. My face. Change my face. And like this wasn't even just a conspiracy. Like I asked people that were doing what I wanted to be doing. Like, is this something everyone does? Um, or is this a conspiracy? And people over and over again confirmed, yes, you need to get a nose job. You need to get Okay. What would I need to do to get a face that looks like this? And my fatness, I could get lipo, Sonic. I'd be willing to risk my life and get lipo because I'd rather be dead than overweight like I am. I'd rather be dead than look like this when I can look like this. All I need is money, and I can't make the money. If I can't make the money within a certain period of time, I fucking kill myself. A brow lift, or like the ponytail brow lift that lifts the corners of your eyes. Oh, the she's filler, cute. Your lips and and as a 19 year old girl fresh out of dropping out of college and wanting to move out of my hometown into a big city like i had my dreams but even i had like limits on what i was comfortable with personally and i did not want to do that i didn't want to do that so i unfortunately you don't fucking need to change your face natalia you're perfect as you are me however i need to change my face just a little get my hairline back Cause I'm not perfect. I'm not good looking. And I'm gonna kill myself sometimes. I'm so angry. You just don't know. I've I've been so angry like this since 1991. Since I've discovered I'm not a good looking guy. Not well, actually 1993. I knew it not. I knew it in 1991, 92. But I swallowed the blue pills. I made my. I was able to make myself believe I was good looking until. I was brutally rejected in 1993, and then I realized, ever since then I've been angry. Ever since then I wanted to cause, but ever since I saw an episode of 2020 where a guy had his face broken up and reconstructed, ever since I've seen that it can be done, I wanted to have cosmetic surgery. I will get it. Well, I will be put in a pine box six feet underground and buried in the earth. Then I will kill, I will fucking kill myself. Rather than be just another face in the crowd. Fortunately, just couldn't be a model. And it's really sad to say that. But bringing everything back to the agency. I hate number myself two on my sometimes. Why I quit. These agencies are so disrespectful, you guys. They are rude. They are judgmental. They don't care what they say to you. They don't, they'll call you fat. They won't even be nice about it. Like, they will say whatever they can say. And it just okay. established it. Like, they will say whatever they can say. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Not one of those girls in that lineup of models, Natalia Taylor, you are better looking than every one of those damn girls. Not one of those girls doing anything for me with their looks. You be, you be, you, Natalia Taylor, you are at least three times better looking, maybe five times better looking than every one of those damn girls. So smile. Well, you don't give a fuck because I'm not a good looking guy, so you don't give a fuck what I think. You can say, and it just established this dynamic, uh, this crazy power dynamic of we basically own you and you need us so bad that we'll just be rude. And I, I am not like that at all. You guys know me. I am just not into people that want to, number one, put those 
crazy standards on people, uh, which I was putting up with back then. And number two, to be so disrespectful. I mean, like, I'm, a, I'm human, okay? I'm another person. You don't call them fat. You don't use that type of terminology to describe someone else's body. Like, it just doesn't sit right with me. And Why? People do People had done that to me on the internet all the time. People do that to me on the internet all the time. Call me T-Rex. Call me old. Call me grandpa. Call me goofy, dorky. People do it to me. Because I don't have a face like this. That's why. And not only that, but these agencies sometimes will just be so rude that they won't even follow up with you. Like, you'll be waiting for months and months to see if they respond to you if they're going to accept you or not and they just won't reply and they'll leave you on red i know that this happens a lot in the entertainment industry as a whole and i think it's so rude i hated this i talked about this with america's next top model how the casting director accept you or not and they just won't reply and they'll leave you on red i know that this happens a lot in the entertainment industry as a whole and i think Wow. Again, Natalia Taylor. You're 5'10". I'm 6 feet tall. Why are my forearms shorter than yours? I thought guys had longer legs and longer long arms than their female counterparts. And here you are, shorter than me, and yet your forearms are longer than mine? I want to kill myself! That fills me with such rage. I want to fucking son of a bitch. I kill myself. I want to kill myself. Natalie Taylor, we please for my sake. I don't care if you think I'm strange. I don't give a shit. I just want to know if our arms are longer than yours. I, I just it's not knowing that's got me stressing. How long is it from your elbow to your wrist bones, Natalie Taylor? Can you please tell me so I can know at least know. If mine are longer than yours or not. If my if my arm if by some miracle of miracles my forearms are longer than yours, I will run out in the streets and sting and dance and shout shout the high heavens and joy. But if they're shorter than yours, it will further my resolve to get cosmetic surgery to get longer forearms. Because if I can't if I had to have these short T Rex arms, I fucking kill myself. Expect Especially if I can't be, well, if I can be a good looking guy and I have to accept living with T-Rex arms, at least I, if I'm a good looking guy, that will keep me from killing myself. If I can at least get my hair transplants or hair flap surgery. But if I have to de be this plain now with just another face and balding face in the crowd, I'll fucking kill myself. So rude. I hated this. I talked about this with America's Next Top Model, how the casting director left me on red for months and then would like reel me back in and say like, you're still in the show. Like it, it's the same way with agencies. It's almost like a game to them and they get so power hungry that they don't care who they step on or who they hurt. And I'm not okay with that. Welcome not to, to the mention, world. At these modeling agencies, there is a culture of harassment, sexual harassment, physical harassment, um, and abuse. I have witnessed sexual harassment firsthand and how the culture of these agencies are with sexual harassment. They don't deal with it. Actually, they ignore it and they tell you to, you know, just shut your mouth and deal with it because that's just the way things are and it shouldn't be that way at all. And I'm not sure if it's still this way now. This is like a few years ago for me, so I don't know if they've changed. How much long is this video? Not. But another trigger warning right here. I've even heard of agencies promoting their models to do drugs in order to lose weight or to have more energy on set. And that is not something I think should be happening in an establishment, like a business. It's so, it's just so disgusting the way the dynamic is at these agencies. I've actually considered like guys like what if what if hear me out what if i decided to start my own modeling agency comment below if you would love to see like and would i be good looking enough being um, one of your models okay what would i have to do to be good looking enough to be 
in your modeling agency. What kind, of, what type of cosmetic surgery would I need? Would this guy be good looking enough to be one of your models? Yes, he would. Me. What would I have to do? Get more hair? How, 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 what would I have to do to my face to be one of your models? Natalia Taylor. And I know you wouldn't take me as one of your models. I, I just don't look good enough. So, I just kill myself if I can't be a good looking guy. Like I said, I don't want to be a model. I just want to be good looking enough so, to, so that if I wanted to be a model, I could. I I got a happier life. I don't want to be miss all that sexual smut. I just want to be a good looking guy. And then, settle down with my girlfriend... Have my happy life. It's my, been my dream since I was 13 to be, good looking, be a good looking guy. If I can't be a good looking guy, I have no recourse but to fucking kill myself. NT models. I feel deep down in my heart at some point in my life I will have a modeling agency and it will be all in. All inclusive to include me? <clears throat> I doubt it. Maybe I can come see you after I get my cosmetic surgery. And once you say yes, you give me my model, I'll be like, okay, thank you. But I changed my mind. I just want to see if I was good looking enough, enough to make the cut. All different backgrounds, all She's different good looking. sizes, all different heights. Like... I feel like that's the future of where modeling is going anyways, and I've been saying this for years. We really need that kind of representation. Number three reason why I decided to quit modeling, and this is just, you know, tying into everything I've already said, but the culture is toxic. The culture is toxic. Everything about... Amen and amen and amen. Back in the 80s, girls were appreciated for the beauty. Girls... Wanted to be beautiful. Girl took pride in the way they dressed. The way they did their hair. And they made them guys respect them. They only slept with one guy at a time. Their boyfriends. They did not spread their legs for the guys that the girl. Girls, you see girls today are sluts. They'll spread their leg. They'll spread. All they care about is pleasing them guys. Don't they, they they take no pride in how their hair looks. They take no pride in that the way they dress. All I care about is showing skin and exposing their pussies and tits. So the guys will fuck them. I'm quite why for one, this disgusts me. Bunch of sl the slutify the slutification of America. Bunch of sluts. I wish girls would respect themselves like they used to be back in the 80s and the 90s. And make them guys respect them too. Back then, guys looked up to the good looking girls. Now they look down on them as the dogs to who, who they can get their rocks off on whenever they're horny. That fucking pissed me off. Not one of them do anything for me. Natalie Taylor, you're better looking than every damn one of them. Blanket term, everybody. But most of the time, it wow. really is. And a lot of she had long arms. Blanket term, everybody. But most okay. Wow. Are my forearms longer than yours? Are my forearms longer than yours, Natalia Taylor? Please tell me how long your forearms are to the exact one sixteenth of an inch. Most of the time, it really is. And a lot of these other no. models or these other girls just aren't no. in a healthy place themselves. And that is not their fault at no. all. It's the way that they've been taught to be. I mean, their agencies are telling them that, that is not their fault at all. Now, she looks, ex she looks nice. Really good. She's got clothes on. She's got her sleeves rolled up. Her face, her hair, her long arms, and the rest of her body. 
She, she's almost as good looking as you, Natalia Taylor. Almost. It's the way that they've been taught to be. I mean, their agencies are telling them they need to be doing things that are not good for their bodies or for their minds. So a lot of models are not mentally healthy. And unfortunately, when you put a bunch of people that aren't mentally healthy together in a small space and they're all living together or they're all going out together every night, it's not a good scene at all. And it can cause a very toxic culture. In just a moment, I'm going to discuss... They look like they look like members of a Jim Jones cult dancing around singing. And it can cause a very toxic culture. In just a moment, I'm going to discuss EDs and how they pertain to the modeling industry. So if that's something you're not ready to listen to or you just aren't in a good headspace for, there's no judgment and I can't wait to see you in the next video. But EDs run rampant in this culture. It is almost like a second nature for everyone. Like it's established, okay? Just yeah. trying to imagine a world where These girls are not good looking. Every single person that you... Oh my goodness. Not one of these girls do anything for me. <sighs> work with that you're friends with like 99.9% .9 of they look like they're sick they look like kids that are too skinny the people that I've met have they look like little skinny children the reason I the reason you look so good Natalie Leah Taylor you don't look like a skinny little kid you look like an a full grown adult woman. A full grown full grown adult girl. But you are got the size of adult the size of an adult. Not the size of a little kid. I mean ew. Of EDs, okay, and I don't want to shock anyone with that because I know it's really hard to believe. Like, Natalia, are you sure? I've heard that it's a thing, but I don't know if it's 99.9% .9 of people. No, it, it, it really is. <laughs> I wouldn't say 100% if I wasn't such a hopeful person, but no, it really is so bad that it's everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I've been mispronouncing your name. It's Natalia. <laughs> Not La Na Natalia. Okay, Natalia Taylor. That's easy to say. Sorry. I fucked up. I won't fuck up again. Everyone. It's not just one or two or three people. It's everyone. And people are giving advice to each other on how to get more sick. People are showing each other how wow, she's to get got low sick. Arms. People are talking about it like it's some weird hobby or like part of their identity. Let's go look at her on long arms like again. Sick. People are showing each other how to advice to each other. Well, she... I just... The reason I was impressed with her because her hair. But now that looks like a wig. And she looks, uh... On how to get more sick. People are showing each other how to get sick. People are talking about it like it's some weird hobby or like part of their identity. It's, it's sick and it's really, really sad. And that is a huge reason the modeling culture is just toxic. It's toxic. It's bullshit. I don't think this fact will surprise many. But on top of that, another part of the culture that is toxic, and this goes back to like the plastic surgery thing, right? So every now and then in modeling... How much long is this fucking video gonna be? I'm ready to get drink my coffee and finish this fucking video. Trends will happen with like which looks are more popular during that specific time. Like I remember early in the 90s there was a very specific look that was very popular in modeling and then it changed in the early 2000s and then it changed again after that and it just continues to shift. Now that oh, wait, wait, wait. And then it that was very Wow. Now those Like I remember early in the 90s Well, if she had if only she had long hair Natalia, whatever you, please don't cut your hair short, or you won't look as good as you do now. Wow. Won't think, or you won't be very good looking if you cut your hair. Please don't cut your hair, Natalia. Please don't cut your hair. Please don't cut your hair, whatever you do. A very specific look that was very... 
Wow. She's got some thick arms. Long arms. This girl. Uh, uh. Like, I remember early in the 90s, there was a very specific look that was. Wow. Now she's good looking. Now she's good look she is as good looking as you, Natalia. It was very popular in modeling and then it changed in the early two thousands and then it changed again after that and it just continues to shift. Now that's all fine and dandy, but when you really think It's the stratification of America, Natalia. As society becomes more like Sodom and Gomorrah, people are gossiping more with the heads on the other ends, the thick heads, and, and people start moving toward the sexuality of child molesters. The more society degenerates. They don't want adults, they want kids. Don't believe it. Watch state li watch state lines to catch a predator, and see all the myriads of sick people trying to have sex with underagers. What? How far? How, what? I mean, this disgusts me. If God don't doesn't judge America, he'll owe Sodom and Gomorrah an apology. Ruth Graham said, Billy Graham's wife. stay up with the trends when we're making looks a trend or your face your face has to fit into the trend damn i still got uh, four more minutes that? and you guessed it you have to change you have to change your face and over and over and over again you're gonna see people's faces slowly change into all i need to do is change my face from looking like this to looking like this that and to do that i'm also gonna need some hair transplants and if I can't get at least the hair transplants, if I can't at least get the hair transplants, even if I can't get the other stuff, if I if I cannot get the hair plant, transplants, I will fucking kill myself. All I need is fifteen thousand dollars. To different looks that are trending, and it's really creepy and weird. I don't know if you guys have actually looked. Oh, at she's this, cute. But the way that people are able to contour their if cheekbones are super in, they'll get cheekbones that season. Or if they're, the eyebrow lift thing is trendy, people will do that. And then just changing your looks depending on what's trending. You're it, damn it right. sit right with me. Like no, I no, no. Beauty standards are fluid and they're always... I change my looks. Be scientifically good looking. They've proven that babies gravitate towards... Aesthetically pleasing to the eye faces. Looks is not in the eye of the beholder. To some extent it is. But look, sign, look, looking hot and looking good is actually a science. If you look good today, if, you, if you're truly good looking today, you will be truly good looking a thousand years from now. And that's what I want. A thousand years from now, this guy will be good looking. Mm. Never in a million years will I fucking be good looking. And therefore, I need to go to sleep in the coffin and be buried six feet under after I kill myself. Always going to change, and we can't stop that from happening. But when you're a professional and it's your job to be that body standard or that beauty standard, I mean, you're basically saying it's my job to constantly change my appearance. And that is a lot of pressure for someone. Now, there are girls that do it. There are some women and men that are successful at finding ways to change their look depending on what people want at that time. Well, I be, well, I be one of those guys to be successful enough to change my looks. So I can, I'm a top-notch guy like this guy right here. Or even better, or even, or, or even better looking than this guy. This guy looks like a man. I want to be a boyishy, surfer dude, sporty, good-looking guy. I, and I don't really know how they do it. I hate I myself. Hope that they're okay, and I hope that they're happy. But the last and final reason I'm gonna I kill myself one day if I have to look like this for the rest of my life. Was because I 
decided I was worth more. I, I was worth more. I didn't feel happy doing what I was doing. I didn't feel like this culture was for me. I didn't feel like I fit into this box that was... I have everything a man needs to be happy. Love and family. All my, all four grandparents were alive. Love and friends. I've led a, I've led a charmed life. I would not trade the life I had for anything for the life of a model. There's just one thing. I had, yeah, I had faith in God, have Jesus Christ. But there's just one thing I didn't have. And this one thing is like a missing piece of the puzzle. The puzzle is, is incomplete. If only I had been a good looking guy back then. And if my forms had been longer, I would have truly had the world by the tail. Even if I was not famous. I gotta be a good looking guy. In my mind's eye, I'm a good looking guy. When I see the this person on videotape, this is not the guy I see in my mind. And because of that, I wanna kill myself. I want to kill myself if I look like this. I want to kill myself for my thinning hair. I want to kill myself for my forms being short. I want to kill myself because all I need is $15,000 and I can get my hair back. And I'm going to look like shit. Because all because money can't buy you happiness? Bullshit. It can buy me happiness. If I had a million dollars, I'd be happy because I'd get the cosmetic surgery and I'd be the person in my... I, I find my body would finally match the guy I am in my mind's eye. I was constantly getting smaller and smaller, and as soon as you think you fit into it, as soon as you, you know, make that weight that they want, or make that change in your face that they want, or cut your hair, or do whatever they want you to do, that box changes, and you don't fit in it, and you're just constantly having to change yourself for the ever-changing and I just decided I was worth more. I decided that I wanted to be a person that didn't follow these trends. I wanted to be myself. I wanted to create a place where... Good girl, I'm proud of you. But you're still good looking. It's easy for you to be happy. You're good looking. I have... If I, I'm just another face in the crowd. And I, I detest that. I've always wanted to stand... I've, I've always wanted to stand out from the crowd. Exceptionally, and if I can't have to be, if I had to be just another face in the crowd, I'll kill myself. Where people that were like me that saw oh. these industries that were like telling you, like you have to be this certain way. Like I wanted to be the person that spoke for others like me. Is this video Talked almost about over? How I was sick of it, and I didn't feel like I was good enough, but I am. You know, I am in my own way, and so I started making YouTube videos talking about modeling, talking about all of the and how it's so ingrained into your brain and how it never really goes and that and Natalia Taylor if you're gonna come at me saying good good looks no matter have me have me have had any me the blue pill bullshit don't even contact me if you can, if you cannot understand how much it means for me to be a good looking guy don't even bother because you're not gonna help me the only help for me is I want to take my fist right here and bust myself as hard as I can in my face for the way I look. But I promised God I wouldn't do that anymore. But I want to take this fist and just hit myself as hard as I can. I hate myself so much. because I love my soul. I just hate my body. I want to kill this body. If I have to kill myself to kill this ugly body, so be it. Just despite this society... You know, if everybody in America gave me one dollar, I had more than enough to get the cosmetic surgery, to be a good looking guy, get the hair transplants, hair, and actually, actually, I want hair flap surgery by Dr. Richard Fleming in Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills, California. Not hair transplants, but hair flap surgery. To reshape my face, just it would, just with the, just a few cuts of the knife, my face could look like this. My face could be a face like this. I don't want to look exactly like this guy, but I want to look as good as this guy. I want to be my unique self. I don't want to be a no copper guy, good looking guy. I want to be a good looking bar man, Chris. But I want to be truly good as, as good looking or better looking than this guy. And I want those longer forms. Because that's my fetish. 
having long long forearms and those long armed alpha females that turns me on goes away 100 no matter how many years you spend not doing it after you quit and what you're saying sounds so sweet natalia but i bet you i'm not good enough for you natalia i would not be good enough for your modeling agency so what you're saying to me basically is fucking bullshit You don't care. Do you care about having humanity or just lowering the bar? I don't fuck if I know. Wait, like it never fully goes away. And that's really hard and that's something that I have to live with. But I wanted to empower people to no. make the decision. If it's something they feel Only like two more they minutes. might be wanting to do. Like just, just trust and believe that there is a world out there that is happy you see, if I was a good-looking girl, uh, shit, if I was a good-looking guy, I'd already be famous, because I got some songs. If only I was a good-looking guy, the record companies would have given me a chance. Yes, I've written songs. I've rap, a songwriter, aspiring rapper, but like Braddy Cupcakes told me once, oh, so you're a 44-year-old rapper. I'm sorry that that didn't work out for you. She told me that crudely, snidely. With dry humor, cause she saw that I was not a good looking guy. But when a good looking guy came in the broadcast, she was all uh, she was all hopping on his dick, telling him how great he was because he was a good looking guy. You see, that's what it boils down to. The good looking guy gets what a, the good looking guy rules the world. The bad looking guy becomes a doormat. And. On, uh, in the, on the internet, I have more haters on the internet than there are stars in the sky. Because I don't look good. If I was a good looking guy, I'd have no haters. Except the people who are jealous of me. But fuck them anyways. Who gives a shit about what those guys think? It's what those girls think that I'm at. That, it's what those girls think about my looks that matter. I don't give a shit what those guy, fucking guys think. Just the way you are, you don't have. I'm like grabbing your face. Just the way you are, you're you're just so beautiful, and you don't have. To you haven't seen me yet. You wouldn't be saying that shit if you saw me, Natalia. Or you tell it to me and, and be telling a lie. You'd be, uh, you you know you were lying, but telling me that just to shut me the fuck up. so grateful that I just got so fed up. I started making YouTube videos about it. I just started talking about what was going on. I just started sharing and just shouting to the rooftops like, this is what happened to me. And people started listening. And now you guys, now that I decided what... I've been shouting what's happened, what, what's been happening to me since 2009. But nobody's listening to me. Either my story is not interesting or I'm not good looking enough to... Uh, Make my story, my good look, can't carry my story, carry my story. Have you seen the views on my YouTube videos? Ever since I've gotten older, they've, they've gone from 500 average of, of, an average of 500 views per video to an average of 10, 11, 22, 55 views. And I want to kill myself for that. But I want to kill myself for, I want to go for some public and blow my fucking head off. With a bomb, to make uh, to make a stand, to make it to to force America to confront what it's made me into. What my worth was? I have an amazing YouTube channel. I have people that have been watching this channel for years. Because you're good looking, that's why, I'm Natalia. I bet you, if you were not good looking, you wouldn't have as many views as you do on your videos. I've tried messaging you, Natalia, but you never responded to me. Still here, and your modeling story changed my life. Like, that is what I'm here for, okay? Wow, and she my... got long arms. And your modeling story changed my life. Like, that is... I'd get 20 years off my life to have long forms in her. Wow, she's got some long arms. What I'm here for, okay? And my YouTube business is 
Seriously, you guys? So much more profitable. I mean, let's talk about that. Let's I can't even get monetized on YouTube. Talk about money. In modeling, you don't really make hardly any money unless you're one of the big, big models, and that takes so long to get there. Like, most of the models that are modeling for Gucci can't even afford a Gucci handbag. That is how little they are being paid. <laughs> All I need to be happy, besides Jesus back, is to be a good looking guy. To have my hair back. If possible, get the long forms. Then you got Natalia. I don't want sex. I don't want. I don't. I, I don't gotta be famous. Just make me into a good looking guy, and let me see and be seen. By a great, great number, a variety number of good looking, top notch girls who would think I'm good looking. And I can measure arms with and see my forms longer than theirs. You got a happy, I'll be the happiest person in the world. I swear to God. Especially if I had, if I, if, yes. But then again, I got Asperger's, autism. I don't see things the, like the rest of you. Like, I, I, don't, I don't see things the way the rest of the world sees things. And I would not change who I am if I could. I like who I am. If, pe if you don't like who I am, go fuck off. I'm not going to change for nobody. Fuck that and fuck y'all too. Go to hell if you do it. Go to hell if you demand me to. The only thing I need to change is my body. To match who I am in my mind's eye. And if I can't do that, I'm going to eventually, I'm going to eventually just snap and kill myself. I hate wearing these glasses. They make me look old. So, un, even more unsexy than I am. Is there a laser eye surgery that can give me my vision back? This industry, but a lot are not. And I hope that you no. enjoyed why I quit my modeling career and decided to just be myself instead. I love you so much, seriously. I hope that this video reaches at least one person out there that needed to hear this. If one person out there decides that they're going to be happy because of this video, then my job is done. Thank you so much. <laughs> What'd you say again? Reaches at least one person out there. I love you so much, seriously. You don't even, you don't even know who the fuck I am. How in the fuck can you say you love me? I hope that this video reaches at least one person out there that needed to hear this. If one person out there decides that they're going to be happy because of this video, then my job is done. Thank you so much again to Pocket Styler for partnering with If me doing a critique of this video gets me a thousand, 10,000 views, I'll be happy. What the fuck is Wow. Much. I thoroughly hope you enjoy wow. Okay, well. Free. But again, I love you. On my forms, as long as yours, Natalia's. I'm going to kill myself if they're not longer than yours. If my forms are long, uh, at least as long as, at, at least as long as yours. But then, then, then it would dog me. What if hers are about an atom, of, a, a, a few atoms longer than mine? I got to have the long form. I got to be a good looking guy. I got to have my hair back. Well, I got to fucking kill myself. Get on out of this miserable shithole world. It's only gonna get worse. I just need to man up. And yeah. all in all in these. 
$15,000 I can get my hair transplants. If only I can get people to listen to my songs. In fact, I can even play one of my damn songs for you. But first, I, I'm going to ask for your critique. Everybody watching. All you females out there. Natalia, I know my girlfriend love, loves me. I love my girlfriend. I never thought I'd ever have a girlfriend. But she knows how desperate. He, she knows how bad I want to be a good looking guy. And she's, she still loves me. That's why I, that's why I love Courtney Joy. Because even though I want girls to think I'm good looking. She still loves me. She's, she loves me like no other girl in this world could love me. Even if I got, I think I'm getting Jesus back in my life. But I need to be complete on the lower level. I need to be a good looking guy. I need to have, at least for a little while, at least for a few years, but I need to be a hunk with the long forms. Then, seeing, seeing and being seen, seeing and being seen by as many top notch girls as there used to be to be seen by in the 1980s, in the early to mid 90s. Now, am I a good looking guy? I just, I just, I just don't make, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not there. I just need a little cut of, I just need a few cuts of the knife. You see my face is a blotch of imperfection. I'm almost a good looking guy. In fact, I've been hit on by many guys. Why not the girls too? Why is it all, the only people who are interested in hitting on me are guys? I want to kill myself sometimes. If I was only a good, if I was a good-looking guy, this song right here I'm fixing to play for you would have made me famous. Okay, let me play this song. I pay for these two songs. If I had been a good looking guy. Love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed. But most of all, what the I fuck hope is wrong with this fucking shit? Wonderful, beautiful day. So a bitch. If I had been a good looking guy, if I was a good looking guy, this song right here would have made me famous. Let's be honest, folks. Wow, she looks good. Let's be honest, folks. 
if I was a good looking guy, you CEO of Arista Records, Warner Brothers Records, you any labels, if I was a good looking guy like this guy right here, with that song right there, what is, where the fuck is that? Hold on. What the fuck is that motherfucking? If I was a good, if I looked like this, with the song I just played to you, tell me the truth. You would have hooked me up with some people to re-record that song to be a smash fucking hit. Because I look like this, people telling me I'm a genius, and my songs are great, but then they leave me in the dust because I'm not good looking enough. And there ain't nothing you can do to, to tell me any different because I know the truth. I swallowed the red pill. And pretty soon, if this keeps up, I'm going to swallow all these pills right here. Sleeping pills. And I'm going to fucking kill myself. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I'm sick and tired of it. And this song right here. This song would have... This song would have gotten me famous. Or at least open doors. You want the money. Okay, maybe I take that back. Maybe the songs would not have made me famous. But if I had looked like this, there would have opened doors. And I would have eventually become famous. There would my songs would have, that these songs would have opened doors in the music business. I'm gonna kill myself. Shit, if they kill me, shoot me, kill me, I, then I, at least I don't have to worry about killing myself. <laughs> 